the Tunguska event, the day the sky screamed. June 30, 1908, deep in the Siberian wilderness, villagers woke to a sky that glowed like fire. Hunters reported hearing a low hum, as if the heavens themselves were trembling. Then, without warning, the sky split open. A colossal fireball, brighter than the sun, tore across the horizon. The ground quaked as if the earth itself was being ripped apart. Seconds later, an explosion louder than thunder shattered the taiga. People were flung from their huts, windows shattered miles away, and the air burned hot enough to sear skin. When survivors dared to look up, they swore they saw faces, screaming, distorted, ghostly visages emerging from the flames. One witness described a thousand souls wailing in the sky before collapsing unconscious. The blast leveled 80 million trees, scorching them black in a perfect circle spanning 2,000 square kilometers. At the epicenter, trees stood upright but stripped bare, silent, skeletal sentinels marking ground zero. Yet no crater, no rock, only silence, and an overwhelming sense that something unnatural had passed. Locals refused to enter the area, whispering that the land was cursed, haunted by spirits trapped in eternal fire. Hunters told of nights when blue flames and shadowy figures moved among the charred stumps, as if the souls of the dead still wandered there. When scientist Leonid Kulik arrived decades later, he too was haunted. His men reported strange lights hovering over the forest at night, and some swore they saw a massive, pale face staring from the darkness where the explosion began. Kulik died before solving the mystery, fueling rumors that the Tunguska curse claimed him. Modern science blames a cosmic airburst, an asteroid exploding miles above Earth with the force of 15 million tons of TNT. But even now, locals say the Tunguska blast was not just space rock, it was a warning. Some call it a gate to another world. Others, the day hell itself tried to break through. And if you stand in Tunguska at night, they whisper, you can still hear it the echo of that impossible explosion, and the faint, tortured cries of the faces that burned in the sky. If you like this story, then subscribe the channel.